you guys need any cards, packs, sleeves, anything of that nature, shop on TCG Player using my affiliate link in the description. Now, I'm starting with Super Poly because it's like the weirdest one on the list. It doesn't see a lot of play. It's pretty much exclusively a side deck card in Heroes. But that being said, have we ever seen this card resolve and be good? Like, I don't think I've seen it. I think every Super Poly I've ever seen activated has just looked like the most mid thing in the entire world. Like, I, I think hero players should, frankly, just side something else. Just take this out and put in a good side deck card. Um, that's really my stance on it. I mean, we don't have, like, most of the e-hero fusions. We only have uh, Ab-Zero and Gaia. Like, no, no Shining really hurts it, for sure. And then you also don't have the Fire one or the Wind one or the, the Dark one or any of those. So it's just like a little early for this card to have the level of versatility as well. Like if you could bring it in versus fairies and make the Shining or something, that'd be crazy, right? Yeah, I, I could see I could see siding it. In, and then a lot of people play it in the mirror. It's just kind of dog in the mirror. Like you can out their Ab Zero, but then their Ab Zero just outs your Ab Zero. And you can out their alias, I guess, and they can't chain gem spark. That's about as good as it gets. But that deck doesn't even produce a lot of discard fodder, so it just feels really inefficient a lot of the times, unless you use it right after getting your turn one strato search and then never getting another strato search for the entire rest of the game. So this card just feels really, really mediocre for me. It definitely got better um, in subsequent formats because of mainly the Shining coming out, but also the other ones, so... Uh, pretty mediocre. I don't think it should be sided uh, at all. I, I just don't think it should see any play whatsoever. It's kind of garbage. Now, I know what you're going to say, all right? Carpath, are you crazy? Sangan's a good card. And is it really, though? I mean, it's good in, like, cat and quick draw. Like, decks like that where you just have some crazy thing that's under 15 that you want to search. But in most decks, I feel like this card is just bad, honestly. Um, I actually am kind of a hypocrite on this one because I play Sangan a ton of decks, but my decks are like weird shit, and Sangan kind of fits in well with with them because there's always like a bunch of stuff I want to search with it or whatever for some reason or another. But like in aggregate, Sangan is just really passive and really slow for this format, especially now that more people play Hamster. It's not even good going second because it's like it might be Raikou you're attacking into with Sangan, but it also might be Hamster. You might just lose the duel. You take 800 damage. And then they just tribute it for Kai's next turn, and then you're feeling like, oh man. Like, it's just, its stats are too small to trade with or get over, like, any recruiter or or what anything whatsoever. It's, like, puny, it's so slow, and slow pa so passive, and there's a lot of aggro decks that will just, like, run you down through Sangan. So, I think the card is probably a bit overrated. Like I said, there's, there's mainly just, like, a few rogue decks that can play it, but pretty much all of the top decks of Edison format don't really want to be playing um, this particular card just because it is so slow, and so many decks are just live and die by their normal summon in Edison format, and spending it on Sangan is just very, very mediocre in a lot of situations. Doom Caliber Knight is an interesting one because this is a card that got played a lot like back in the day in the contemporary 2010 format. You can kind of see it just randomly teched in to at least a couple of the of the topping lists at the original SJC Edison, there was like a Doom Caliber gadget deck. There was like a Doom Cal Cat deck. There might have been a couple more. I remember those off the top of my head. People still play this card every now and then, and I mean it pretty much just sucks. Like the card just gets like completely obliterated by like um Vayu and uh Treeborn Frog, which if you play Edison format, you know those are pretty relevant meta threats and then like even if you were summoning this and hitting into a set monster it's like just okay um it's really only good when you're like stopping gores from coming down so you can hit game or something like that uh, and, and every deck just plays like infinity outs to these types of 1900 stun monsters you know with the book of moon d prison brain control bottomless trap hole freaking mind control even caius there's just like you know Raikou. It's just, just infinity, infinity outs to these types of monsters in every deck. There's so much spot removal in Edison format in just every single build. So I mean, what Doom Caliber is is inherently weak, and he's like the worst one too. I mean, he's just, he's pretty much just worse than Thunder King. Thunder King isn't good in the main deck for sure. Um, it doesn't get better till later, but it's at least like a good side deck card versus zombies. Whereas Doom Caliber just doesn't really doesn't really do much at all whatsoever uh, i think 
the pretty much only excuse for playing Doom Caliber Knight in your deck is if you are on Dark Calling or, or some kind of weird fiend strategy. Like if if you're not playing it just to have a like decent fiend name, then I, I feel like you just shouldn't play it whatsoever. Um, so that's basically my take on Doom Cal. Finally, we arrive on what I think is just the biggest piece of crap card in the entire list, which is limiter removal. I think this card is garbage. This card is dog. This card is worthless. There are a couple reasons why I think that. Um, the first one is kind of obvious, which is that no one plays machine decks in Edison format. Um, and Chimera Tech Gatekeep Dragon has a lot to do with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, limiter removal isn't playable in like ancient gears and gadgets which are just complete non-entities within the meta the only meaningful deck within the meta that plays machines is like the the Ma machina control lists with the the hamster rikos and the machina package and the pot of avarices and that deck doesn't play limiter removal because limiter removal sucks in that deck i remember a while back uh keegan was looking at a couple of top eight uh machina lists and he was wondering where limiter removal was kept asking where's limiter removal and i'm just like mentally in my head it's, it's in the builds that didn't top it's like that's where it is it's in those deck lists that didn't make it to the top cut because the card sucks okay let me explain why i mean it is just first of all most machina builds don't even play enough machines to justify this like i'm not joking unless you're on full like full machina package plus double cyber dragon plus trooper maybe you could justify it maybe you could justify it like being alive in your but it still sucks is the problem the issue is it's still bad right because it is just like a complete win more card because the only circumstance where you're ever activating limiter removal in that deck is if you've cleared your opponent's entire board and you have like fortress gear frame on your field at which point you're like winning that game 90 percent of the time anyway if you actually reach that game state so you're just you're just like hoping to cheese like one out of 10 games with a limiter removal when you get that situation where you're probably going to win anyway so the the amount of times where limiter removal is in your hand and is actually better than just any other card is just extremely low almost zero like there's going to be a ton of hands where you draw it and it just does nothing whatsoever and there's going to be a ton of hands where you draw it and it wins you the game but it just didn't even matter that it won you the game so I think limiter removal absolutely sucks, completely overrated in, in the sense that people rate it anything at all. This card is worthless. I wouldn't play it in anything. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.